yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a good grass course season already, so, you know, for, and for me today coming out against Nico, I mean, I won this tournament last year, and I guess I really had nothing to lose, you know, I had I had a hell of a lot to gain, as Shaka just said, where, you know, for the first time, first time in a semi-final, first time probably in the top 100, first time direct entry into a Grand Slam, so, you know, um, you know, I went out there confident and you know, I really wanted to do all those things and I, I thought I played really well. Sam, uh, what does it feel like? You've done it in uh, doubles, you've done it in challenges. What's it feel like to knock out a defending champion and then go forward? Oh, it's a great feeling, you know. I, uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It's, uh, you know, I'm a bit, a bit lost for words, I guess, right now. And, you know, for me, I'm in the semifinals, but I don't feel like my tournament's over. I feel like I'm doing well enough to, to cause some real damage here now. I'm going to come back later, later today in doubles, but I'm going to come back out on Saturday with, with the confidence that I can, you know, I can win my semifinal and I can hopefully win this tournament. So I've got myself in better shape. I'm not losing losing my mind out on court, you know. I'm, I'm doing a lot of things better. I've tightened up my ground strokes. You know, people always thought of me as just a serve, but I don't think you get to top 100 being just a serve. Um, yeah, my serve probably has gotten better, I'm hitting my spots better, and I think I'm volleying better than I ever have, you know, I'm digging a lot of volleys, and I'm making it tough for, for guys to break me, and I think that builds a lot of pressure, so for the first time it's a combination of everything, and I feel like I'm becoming a more complete, complete player. What? Now, now I love it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade what I'm doing for anything in the world, and, you know, yeah, I travel the world doing something I love to do, and I get to make a living doing it, and, you know, get to play in places like this, you know, there's not, not a much better you know, place you can play in the summer, and like I said, I'm just loving every minute of it now. It seems like you say a lot of things to yourself in the court. Do you, do you, do you, have, a do you have a coach? Or do you, or I have you a just, coach. You know. he's, uh, he's at home having a surf this week. Um, he travels with me a lot, but we just did 10 weeks in a row through to Wimbledon. And, you know, we need time off, he needs time off, everyone needs a break occasionally, so he'll join me right before DC, before Washington in a couple What's of weeks. What's his name? Ben Mathias. Mathias. Yeah, he's, uh, he's actually employed with the Australian Federation. He's the Davis Cup squad coach, so he was someone that was assigned to me, and obviously when someone's assigned to you, you never know how it's going to work, but we've, uh, we've got an unbelievable relationship, and yeah, he's probably the, the one of the biggest reasons that I'm sitting here in front of you now. Sam, uh, you obviously had the double success at Wimbledon. You're having a great run here. Meanwhile, the young guns of Australia, Nick Kyrgios and Luke Saville, to some degree, are also um, peaking. Uh, does that motivate you at all to get out there at 26 and say, I can do this too? Oh, I mean, 26 is not old by no. any stretch now, especially in men's sense, you know, with the average age of being close to 28, I'd say. but. I think there's been a bunch of us have been saying that Australian tennis is coming good for a few years now and everyone's sort of been, oh yeah, 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 there's been a bit of criticism and stuff, but you know, I guess Nick at Wimbledon sort of brought everyone's attention to it, but like I said, we've been saying it for a long time and we've all believed it and you know, we're going to have five inside the top 100, you know, it's, 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 assuming I crack it next week. And, you know, um, Luke coming through, he's had a great few weeks. Kokonakis is a young guy. Duckworth just qualified at French End Wimbledon. You know, I, I think it's really exciting times. They look up to you. You give them advice. Yeah, I mean, Luke, especially this week, you know, he, he's a young guy. It's his second ever tour event. His first one was Wimbledon, so he's asking a lot of questions. And, um, you know, I think also, 26 is not young, but at 26, I think me cracking the top 100 now is going to give those guys a lot of... Uh, uh, motivation, I guess, and, and belief that they can do it as well. You know, I guess a lot of people have written me off to, to never get to this point um, a lot of times, and hopefully, me getting there inspires a lot of those young girls and guys to do it as well.